Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your fourth GIMP tutorial. Now today, I'm going to be talking to you about layers. Now layers are uh, one of the most important things about image editing. Um, not just GIMP, but any uh, photo editor in general probably has layers. Now layers are a very important and very helpful part of it. You really can't do um, that much with a photo unless you have layers. So um, now layers are uh, they're um, they're basically an image or a part of an image that has been superimposed on another image. So as you can see, there's an onion with a really horrible looking arrow and it's pointing to this ugly thing now um, in the last tutorial whenever I made that text and it was like text and it was like right here um, well there was a background thing here um what this thing but you also saw another thing and it had the text on it right there now the text is actually a layer um, and so is the background uh, so now what these eyes do is they control if uh, the layer is visible or not so layer number one is the top layer of this onion right here um, so if I click the eye you're going to get the second layer because the first layer is still there it's just not visible so if I click on layer number two it's going to be invisible and if I click on layer number three you're just gonna get the background now if I click on the background you're gonna get this weird checkerboard now what this is is it just um it just means like a hundred percent transparency if you saved it right now um, like this it would be a hundred percent blank pure white unless you saved it as a .png file because .png file support transparency uh, so anyway if I make all the layers visible again um, to create a new layer go down to the uh, the button farthest to the left um, and then create the layer so whatever um, layer name you want so uh, whatever um, now uh, how this is how uh, high and wide you want the layer to be I recommend just leaving it at um, the width that the image is at just to make it easier to edit and you can uh, now you can have the layer uh, filled with um, black which is the foreground color and you can change that too or you can choose the background color you can choose just blank white or you can um, make it a hundred percent transparent now a hundred percent transparent is um, usually the easiest to work with so just click OK and now there is a new layer um, so to work with a layer um, you have to click on it right here so um, this is the list of layers so um, if I click on um, so if I want to edit um, the first layer of the onion I'd click on layer number one and then I'd uh, just like add a new line or something and then uh, it would be just layer number one um, if I clicked off the visibility on uh, the whatever layer nothing would happen because I selected layer number one when I drew so um, just remember that whenever you're editing a layer make sure that you're actually editing the right one because uh, sometimes you can get mixed up with that so um, if I just um, scribble on here um, so and if I click off the visibility you won't see this horrible scribbles now uh, the opacity of a layer um, is right here so you can change whatever layer is selected so if you want to um, kind of see the scribbles at 50% transparency just set it to 50 you can slide it and um, I think you can uh, change um, it by typing in a value like 20 or something so um, now it's at 20% transparency so I'm just gonna set it back at 100 and also to delete a layer I think 
uh, you can either click the delete the layer button or you can right click and delete a layer so uh, there so now um so now if I want to move the um, a layer all I gotta do is go to the move tool and this moves layers so if I uh, click on it and then I move it wherever I want to um, it'll move um, just that layer it won't move on uh, the whole onion or, or the background it'll just move that so um, to move another layer you don't have to go and select it all you do is just click on that layer and then it'll just move it so that's kinda nice and so then you can see all three layers of this onion so now if I set them all back so um there there's the move tool there's the rotate tool now you just click on which layer you want to work with and you can change this slider um you can change that um with that or you can click here and you can um rotate it or you can uh change the center of rotation by uh wherever you want to put it so then it'll just rotate here or you can uh rotate it out here or something then uh, there's the scale tool and um, oh yeah to um, so if you like get this window out of the way um, you're gonna see these uh, corners and like these edge edge uh, I don't know what to call them but um, I don't really know what they are but anyway if you click on them if you click on one of these squares you can uh, move um, you can scale the layer however you want and um, you can if you grab the corner you can make it smushed or you can like make it really deformed so now um, that might be a problem for you you might want it to just be literally just scaling it and not uh, squishing it or anything so um, click reset and it'll go back to how it was so then if you press um, these chains so they're chained together this means locking the aspect ratio so this is just pure scaling so uh, now it'll just scale it and it'll be like a hundred percent like it was before so just click the scale button and it'll do it but it kind of takes a while and I don't have time so let me see there's the perspective tool now click on a layer with this and what it will do is it will uh, you know actually I'm gonna get zoomed out for a better view of this just cuz it's um, kinda need to so what this is gonna do is the um, so it should look exactly like this the transformation matrix like I don't even know what that means but anyway so if you grab a corner it'll kinda make it look like it's uh I don't know kinda like a perspective I guess and then um like if you want to make something go into the distance just put these two corners here and then it'll start to look like it's really like a wall or something kind of so anyway if you click transform it'll turn into exactly like that but it takes forever to do it and I um, kinda don't want to there's a flip tool click on a layer and it'll flip it <laughs> um, then there's the uh, cage transform tool and um, what this does is uh, just like so around the layer you want to work with uh, make like kind of a cage I guess um, so you can make a square but that's kind of boring I think I'll make a like a, some weird shape here I don't even know what that would really be but anyway after this gets done loading what this does is it'll let you move these corners and you see how this is um, neatly inside of this cage well when you transform the cage it'll actually transform the layer inside of it to actually be in relation to the points so if I uh, take this corner and if I put it way down here 
um, this part of the onion is going to be like really stretched out because it's going to still be in relation to um, all of the points so um, yeah it kind of takes a while for it to show but it should be show yeah there it is um, yeah it's kind of really weird but that's how um, the cage transform tool works uh, I think that's what it's called but anyway um let me see I think that is it for this tutorial uh, now you know all about um, layers and in the next tutorial I'm actually gonna be showing you how to import an image into GIMP so you can actually mess around with an actual picture so uh, see you in the next one